So today we're going to be bleeding out the AYC on this EVO 5. So what you do is you jack it up on all fours. You know, jack stands and ties and stuff. It's just where you use extra jack stands and ties just to be safe. The other ones are there just, just in case. They're not actually supporting but it's just mainly on four jack stands. Basically, you remove this 24, 24mm bolt, so you use a 24mm socket to remove this bolt. That's where you drain your AYC fluid from. This one here is where you drain your gear oil from. So you open that. Before doing that, I like to actually open up the fill bolt just to make sure you can open it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's that one right at the top there. I'll try and point it out. That one there. That top one there. It's a uh, 17 more. Sprayed with WD-40 and then let it sit for a couple of minutes and then I'll open it. It's just a standard 17. These are your two bleeders. I've taken off the actual bleeder caps. Yeah, so once you open that. 17 open 24 mil bolt and let all the fluid drain out and then I'll show you what to do at the top as well for the reservoir for the AYC fluid make sure you use the genuine Mitsubishi ATF which is an SP3 rating now you can make sure that the reservoir is topped up if you have drained it from the bottom and you've sucked out all the remaining fluid from the top fill it up with fresh fluid make sure it's right at the max line you can fill it a bit above the max line so this way you're safe when you come to bleeding it you won't run it low you'll need an oil pump similar to this to fill up the ayc with the mitsubishi atf if you don't have something like this you will struggle to do the job fill it in through that hole there that 17 more bolt that we removed earlier that's where you, you basically fill it to it starts to uh, overflow out of that same hole and then you close it so you use the pump bottle i like to run it underneath the exhaust just up into that little bolt there just up there that's where it goes it's topped up you'll see it drip down and you just pull out the pump and close it off with the old 17 it's important never to run the system dry so make sure you always keep an eye on this level keep an eye on that while you're bleeding it connected up the exhaust system and vented it outside it's easier to hear the pump other than it's too loud with the large exhaust it's a lot safer as well okay so this is what it looks like underneath And I'm just using the bottle, filled it up with some ATF, just to expel the air, just watch it, that's the Mitsubishi stuff, how you bleed the system, what you do is, start the car, put it in gear, you can use second or third, I will be using third, the objective is to get the car above 2000 RPM, so you get the wheel spinning, activates the pump, and then you cut the wheel so when you want to do the right side it's this side here when you want to do the, the right bleeder you turn the wheel to the left so you turn your steering to the left so you go center left and then back to center and left so what you do is when you form center you gradually turn the wheel to the left at this point you want to open the right bleeder and you should immediately notice fluid expelling out into your container before the wheel returns back to center you want to close off the bleeder and repeat the process going from center to the left and while it's going to the left you want to open the bleeder and when it's coming back to the center you want to close the bleeder got a little bottle here got ayc fluid in it i've marked it with that little piece of tape so i know how much more of the fluid is going to come out Start the car, get the car running. Now we'll put the car in 
here. Grab it up in here. And then you start beating it for sure. After turning the wheel to the right, you can see that the left side, the left bleeder is basically fully expelled all the air. That's what it should look like when all the air is being pushed out and it's bled fully. You just see a constant flow of fluid into your container. Now I'm just going to do the right one. So for the right one, we'll be turning the wheel to the left. Thank you. 